it's it's, it's good. Thank you for having me um, join this conversation. It's, it's obviously a very important one and something that in Australia we we sort of uh, been dealing with urgently. Um, so I'm, you know, I, I want to provide a, a bit of a context and and um, a sense of what we've been doing recently um, in, in the space. So we've just come off of um, a three-year trial to look at how um, consumer DER. So if, if you know the Australian context, we um, we have uh, a, a huge amount of solar going up on people's roofs. I think per capita, we are, we are the leaders um, for solar rooftop solar generation as, uh, as it stands now. And while that's a really good thing from from the point of view of energy efficiency and, and you know, renewables, it's actually become a, a quite problematic for our uh, national electricity market to run um, without um, getting smarter about how we orchestrate all of this. So um, again, we've got a fairly sophisticated electricity market. Uh, our main market supplies electricity to 80% of Australians. And um, uh, there's a supply demand optimization process that runs and dispatches uh, electricity every five minutes. So we've got a near real time um, a, a sort of spot market and all of the electricity goes through there. So the um, issue we are having now is with all of this uh, residential and small business solar and storage and ultimately EV going up, um, that supply demand balancing has become really difficult. Um, the price responsiveness is not predictable. The uh, pricing signals are not reaching um, uh, sort of consumer devices. And so all of that means we've, um, we're starting to see a lot of risk and cost coming into the system, um, even though the generation cost itself is dropping. So uh, we just completed a trial with the National City Market Operator and, and uh, Osnet as a distributor uh, in, in, in the state of Victoria um, to see how we can bring together um, consumers represented by aggregators um, uh, together with the market operator, with the distrib electricity distribution company um, and um, and, and help the aggregators optimize how consumer DER is used. So um, the good news is it's it's possible. We we you know we ran a, a like real trial for almost a year, three hundred and thirty three days, uh, where electricity you know five minute spot prices were channeled through this data sharing arrangement, and aggregators would um, respond by uh, forecasting the capacity for each five minute interval going forward 48 hours, allowing the market operator to optimize the way the wholesale dispatch works. Um, and then for distributors to dynamically assess the limits because what, what's happening obviously is with a lot of solar, uh, we're starting to see voltage issues in our low voltage circuits. And, and um, in the absence of a smart way to manage that, we are having to constrain uh, exports, which is not a good thing. I mean, that goes against uh, energy efficiency or effectively spilling um, solar generation. So, um, so we run this trial and uh, managed to set up an arrangement that can uh, that can scale up. Um, and there's, you know, we, we completed the trial earlier this year that we published a lot of documentation around this. And currently we are looking at um, uh, operationalizing it. So effectively transitioning our national city market um, into that sort of DER or CER integrated model. Um, so, you know, getting all the benefits of uh, low marginal cost generation um, while keeping the risk to the system and associated costs low. And again, you know, the, the overall context is our forecasts show, you know, the best forecasts we have show that by 2050, 40% uh, of our generation is going to come from uh, residential PV and, and uh, uh, you know, connected to the distribution system. So that's a huge number and 2050 is not that far off. Um, so, uh, you know, we're really keen to um, uh, 
uh, really get in front of this and, and obviously learn from what's happening elsewhere around the world, uh, but also, you know, keen to share our sort of experience and, and findings uh, in doing this. Uh, so thank you for the opportunity. Um, back to you, Christine.